Good morning, guys. Hope everybody's uh, fine. What's the beat Oops. Yeah, Sorry, that clip. The new just had me watch game back on. Well, let's ask and all people. That. Do you check the tomato? Let's ask people in the channel. So, do you all agree that Buzz profiled the guy and was racist? Yes, hundred percent. Buzz is a racist. Does anybody else agree on the channel? I know that Uncle Levy will not come out and say yes, hundred percent. I will. Um, so, what's your thoughts on the on the panel, guys? So we can draw a line under this. I'm not going to actually, even though I have already, but I'm not even going to use the term racist. I just think on a whole, and I've said this before, mm. the guy has zero respect for everybody. It doesn't matter whether you're fucking, what colour race you are or whatever, if you talk funny. He has no respect for anyone. If he can make a fool out of somebody uh, to make himself look good or, or get a kick out of it, he will do. So I don't think it matters whether, you know, he has to make a racist. Yeah, he's a narcissist. We've said this over the last couple of weeks. He is a narcissist, bro. He's a narc, proper narc behavior. Um, and he's very good at gaslighting people as well. Very, very good at gaslighting people. Deject the tomato. I, look, I will say this. I, you know me, I'll speak my mind. I'll say it like this. Buzz Tex is 100% a racist. Having a and you care for somebody else, like because of the yeah, you see, you see, what, what, people what, with a speech impediment as well. Is, is that I was, I was just, get, I was yeah. just going on, I was just getting on to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> this comes back to being in the public eye. You've got to be very, very careful what you do and say. Yeah, there are some, there's some stuff that he's done. Uh, this is why this is why this video doesn't that we're talking about doesn't particularly surprise me. Unfortunately, I think oh you know this hasn't been yeah oh 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 no oh, sure. no. Um, Can I just say though, right, trouble. JB, you're Come a street on. photographer, so for someone like uh, yourself, yeah. it's probably quite insulting. Yeah. However, well, I'm looking on the brighter side, and I could be wrong, but it looks like the guy's right. pulled away from fucking auditing. Halla fucking well, Luya. No, look, guys, right? Look, yesterday I come on, two days ago, I come on stream, and obviously on this channel, I've pulled away for it, and you know that, um, and it's only because obviously family issues and, and that, and two days ago, I put my pictures up and whatnot, and um, yesterday I said to BBA, I said, uh, it wouldn't be surprised me if BuzzTex will pull away from wow. it in the next six months to a year, and BBA messaged me, and he said, oh, he's changed his banner. He's calling himself a street photographer now, right? So as a street photographer, which I am, right, yeah. um, I went over and looked at the video, and I was absolutely shocked. Absolutely mm. shocked. If you go and have a look at his latest video, he's walking around taking pictures. Just because you walk around taking pictures, it doesn't mean you're a street photographer. He's going around taking pictures of people, trying to entice them. He's going into people's shops. Do you have seen the video? I have seen the video, yes. I'm only laughing because I wasn't expecting it to be by the person who it is. Come on, no, I wasn't. I really right. wasn't. I, I totally wasn't. <laughs> well, look, you know, let's let's pull the cards on the table. It's 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 by our wonderful friend, Buzz Tech. <laughs> right. um, Sorry. Well, look, Cheryl, I would uh, disagree with you. If you'd like to come up on and have a chat and have a respectful debate about it, I would. Um, you, you know, you say Buzz is not a racist. If you Buzz is not a racist. Jeez. If you go up to somebody in the oh. street, if you go up to somebody in the street or somebody, and call them Abdul by the colour of their skin, and then, then laugh a, as well, and then laugh, then that is a racist remark, right? Yeah. When you start chucking what can be perceived as insults around, yes, um, it, there's a couple of things that come into play. Your relationship with that person. Yes. You know, how often do yeah. you how often do you really tear into your good mates and call call them all sorts of names? Yeah, that's different, right? Exactly, it? exactly. Yes. That's that's part one. That's part one. So you know each other. If you said that said some things that mm -hmm. that you said to your mates to a total stranger, you'd be waking up wondering what the hell just happened and what mm -hmm. the pain in your mouth is all about, where your teeth used to be. Can I just say can I just say I knew this was gonna happen? Um what's happened? That video's been um he's uploaded the video. Um Scott Cheggs put a clip up and Buzz Tex doing his, the thing that he does. He's very good at backtracking and twisting stuff. Mm. And uh, Cheryl H. believes that the name, his real name is called Abdul JB. Uh -huh. His name is not called Abdul. Come on, man. Yeah. Mm. The other thing that plays into any insult, whether it's a straightforward insult or a racist yeah. slur, homophobic or anything, yeah. is, the, is the intent behind it. Yeah. yeah. So, obviously, total strange. You've got to be a bit more careful than you have with people that you know.
And given that on YouTube, <laughs> you're broadcasting to the world, which I would suggest is 99.999% total strangers. I, I would say one may, thing, right? If, if somebody may, is going to... Oh, sorry. I'm going to say maybe a little more care and a little more thinking things through, joining the dots up is sometimes required than does happen on social media. What I can say is if somebody has made a comment towards somebody from another country and they think it's fine, say that to somebody when they're in their own country, when you're in their country, basically, and see, yeah, see what happens. if it is all right. Yeah, see what and that will next. show you whether yeah. you were all right or not. Yeah. I mean, yeah. is, it, is it acceptable in 2021 to walk up to a stranger and call him Abdul? Well, and unless, then, his name, unless his and name then, happens to be Abdul. Well, no. that's that's what he's going to use now, isn't he? That's his only ghetto clause, right? He's going to. But if his name is Abdul, well, not, but he didn't know his name is Abdul, it's still not right. Unless his and name then, happens to be Abdul. Well, no. that's that's what he's going to use now, isn't he? That's his only ghetto clause, right? He's going to. But if his name is Abdul, well, not, but he didn't know his name is Abdul, it's still not right. If his name is Abdul, if his name is Abdul, and then you've taken a still picture of him and put him on the fucking internet, you've not, you've pretty much doxed the guy, right? You give his first name over, mm -hmm. stuck him over the internet without his permission, like, God's a fucking mong, I think And anyone I, that it, believes Buzz is also a fucking mong. Issues going on with uh, said video and, and his new approach that he's going at the moment, and I can go into that as well. Um, you know, being a, 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 a legitimate, real street photographer, not doing it for the views, and uh, doing it for the clicks. You know, you know what? I've come away from uh, Buzz not because yeah. of any any fallings out or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I found he was getting a bit ranty. You know, whether it's you know, just just too much, just too ranty mm. for my taste. Nothing, nothing. You know, if he changes it, if he changes it again, then mm. uh, maybe I'll have a look. But I just thought, no, I'll just, you know, it's nothing to do with any of the fallings out that happened. Um, it was just yes, the style yeah, that changed. It was just the way the style changed, so I haven't I haven't seen any of his more recent stuff over the past couple of weeks. So I'll just you know to give it a breather. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, you know, visual culture is right. Discrimination may be a better word. That's the word I was going to actually put in as well. Yeah, you know what is the difference? Well, one's more extreme than another, isn't it? I think that's mm. the only di difference. Mm. Well, no, <laughs> racism. Racism is based on. Basically, skin colour, the race of a person. I mean, we're all human race. Yes. You know, we're all Homo sapiens. Um, well, but racism, is, yeah. Racism we'll bleed is based red. on skill on skin colour. I believe there's only one race, the human race, personally. Yeah, I got mm. I got thrown. Well, I got thrown out for pushing and using this the elbows. Guy real, shut up, BBA. Jay, mate, I'm more real than you'll ever fucking know, buddy. Unlike your uh, spunky buzznut, mate. No, as, as far as I'm BBA. concerned. In this world, I don't care what your skin colour is, what your creed is, no, you know what what your religious or political beliefs are. Probably not mm -hmm. too extreme. Um, no, and I, I'm, I'm a firm believer that any you know extremes are dangerous, or they can be extremes yeah. of anything. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, e even if it comes to diet or you know alcohol or so mm. many things. Mm. Um, there, there are two types of people in the world. There are good people, and then there are the rest. Okay, what about what yeah, Ron is saying? Um, he, he said, I think race is more cultural rather than skin colour. Laugh out loud. Yeah, yeah. Jay Southern said, Cry boy, I'm not sticking up for the geese. I'm sticking up for every white person that gets called a racist for minor pathetic things. Well, if you think going up to a person and calling them Abdul and then laughing is a minor thing, then I don't know, bro, you know. There's no excuses. Simple as that. You know, it's 2021. There's no excuses. There's no loopholes. 